everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all this video I hadn't planned to do this review but I don't see a lot of videos about this brand we're gonna talk about today I don't hear a lot of people talking about this brand <laughs> So I was like, I'm gonna give my thoughts on it. And this is the Necessaire brand that's at Ulta. It's the Body Ritual is a self-care experience. Exfoliate, cleanse, replenish, and moisturize the skin for a healthier look and a better feel. Use daily or as desired. So this kit right here comes with an exfoliator, a body wash, a body serum, and a lotion. And this brand to me is marketed towards skincare for your body. It's not, it's supposed to be beneficial, you know? And that's, I've heard, I think the Glam Twins was the first, were the first people I heard talk about this. And I decided once I saw this kit at Sephora, which is still on sale, you all. This kit is still at Sephora. I said, okay, I'm going to give it a try because it intrigued me. Skincare for the body, you know, and it's supposed to be really good ingredients and, you know, all of the good things. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go in order of how I used it. This is the Body Exfoliator. And this says exfoliate, soften, renew, and this is in the scent eucalyptus. Now, first I'm gonna start off, I cannot stand this scent, period. I mean, I'm not uh, an herbal, this to me is a spa-like scent, but it is not pretty girl spa, this is herbal earthy i'm a natural woman said you know <laughs> that's what it reminds me of it's very very natural smelling and that is just not my cup of tea um no but let's talk about so i don't like the scent <laughs> so let's get that out of the way now with the packaging I don't know if the full size comes in where you have to unscrew the top. I would prefer where you pop it open and you can squeeze it out. But that's not, you know, you know, dire in my opinion. The scrub, I don't, I'm going to hold this up. If you see those itty bitty granules, it's like micro granules, a micro scrub exfoliation. Now, at first I was like, okay, this is not, mm, this isn't really doing much. Am I feeling anything? You know, because it was so micro, the exfoliants were. But as, when I, I judge a scrub by how my skin feels once I rinse the scrub off. Now, I will say with this scrub, my skin did feel soft. It felt smooth. It's a good scrub. I think it's good. For if you have sensitive skin and you don't like tree hut where it's thick, you can feel it, it's grainy, you know it's there. This is one, you don't get that feeling at all, but it did exfoliate my uh, skin. It did leave it soft, but it's it wasn't enough for me, especially if it only comes in this fragrance, eucalyptus, where I was like, I need the scrub. It's so good. It blows my mind because this, I know all the products here are 25 plus dollars. So I was like, I'm not paying that for, it's a good scrub, but I have other good scrubs that don't cost that much and they smell good. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good scrub. If you like earthy fragrances, then you might like this, but that is just, like I said, that is not what I prefer. It doesn't even smell. I can do the eucalyptus. 
I think it's mint from Bath and Body Works or something. It's not my go-to. Like I have it in the bath beads and the um, bubble bath, but I can handle that. It's, it's not so natural, earthy smelling as this line of product. So next we're gonna talk about the shower gel. This is also in the scent eucalyptus and this is described as a multivitamin um, shower gel that cleanses, nourishes, and balances your skin. I believe this is also $25. Now the packaging, I do like the packaging, especially this. You twist it up like that and then you pour the shower gel on your, you know, your loofah, your towel, whatever you're using. I love the packaging of this, but again. Okay, the smell is still bad, <laughs> in my opinion, but it's not as, as strong as it is in the scrub. So, I've used this a couple of times, and... Let me say, I want to use these products up and then in empties, I'll give you, you know, did it really do anything? Because with skincare, if this is supposed to be skincare for the body, you have to give it time. So this, right now I'm using these as my nighttime shower, you know, routine because I don't want, I don't want to smell this going out somewhere. So I'm using this at night for my nighttime showers. And I think skincare, in my opinion, like with your facial skincare, I think it works best at night. So I just wanted to see, you know, what these products do. Right now I'm giving you my impressions so far, but then we'll have to see, did it benefit my skin, you know, after I complete them, and then I'll update you in an empties video. Now back to the shower gel. Love the packaging, hate the scent. I did feel like a lot doesn't come out when you squirt this, when you pour the shower gel. And even on my loofah, I felt like it did suds up, but it wasn't as sudsy as some of my other shower gels, you know, Dove or Olay or Bath and Body Works. It didn't suss up as much as that, but it was still, it wasn't enough for me to say, this is getting on my nerves. So it was still doable. I still enjoyed it. I did feel like, <sighs> after I rinsed off my skin, it felt dry. My skin felt dry, and I'm not used to that with a body wash. Now, I get that feeling sometimes with bar soaps, but this is the first body wash I can think of that I felt like my skin, you know, that tight feeling. And I, I usually don't get that feeling, like I said, with other body washes, just if I'm using, and not even all bar soaps, it's just certain bar soaps that I can get that feeling. So, with this, it didn't impress me enough to be like, wow, let me go drop 25 plus dollars and get this body wash. Now, I will say, I might would get, they have a fragrance free body wash and a sandalwood. If I'm in Sephora, I might pick up the sandalwood and try it. If I like the way it smells, I might, when there's a sale at Sephora, you know, the 20% off sale or something, you know, I might would say, okay, because sometimes you get in the mood to just try something new. I would try, I would want to try this in a scent I really enjoyed. So this is, like I said, they have fragrance free, eucalyptus, which is a no-go for me, and then sandalwood. So do I think this body wash is worth $25? At this time, I can't say that. I can't say it is, but... This is supposed to be skincare. So I'm gonna wait until I use it all the way up to say for sure, you know, I know I don't ever want eucalyptus, but I would you, I, I would try another body wash because it's not a bad body wash, but it's not a great body wash. But I can't see myself rushing to get it. So those are my thoughts on this body wash at this point in time. 
So next is the body serum. And this says it has hyaluronic acid to hydrate, replenish, and plump your skin. Um, it's fragrance-free. It's supposed to give you visibly um, healthy skin and apply all over your body or in areas where you need increased hydration and then you follow or mix this with the moisturizer. So what I did, I said, I'm gonna do it like I would do on my face. So I just put this all over my body, this serum. And when I got out of the shower, I did not use my Curel in shower lotion that I have been obsessed with for the fall winter seasons because I wanted to see what this did on its own, no help. Okay, so I got out, did my usual, and my skin felt tight and dry. Then I put this on and I didn't skimp. I, you know, I put it all on all over my body. Now, when I put it on, I said, like, okay, it feels good. I, it feels like it's, it's sinking into the skin. But then it, it, my skin still felt tight again. I'm thinking that this serum, if it's a body serum, you know, y'all know, ladies, if you have a good facial serum, you feel that difference once you put it on your skin. You feel the difference. So I was waiting to feel the difference with this body serum. And I did not. I didn't. Not on its own. Um, then I wouldn't read reviews because this has five stars on Sephora. And people were saying you can use it by itself. It's good. I can't see my me using this by itself at all because it didn't hydrate my skin enough for me. But I will say, oh, and let me tell you this, about this scent. This says it's fragrance-free. But y'all know that fragrance-free... Like, you know, like uh, an eczema lotion, some stuff is actually fragrance-free, you smell nothing. And then you have things that's fragrance-free, but they have that fragrance-free scent. <laughs> that's what this has. I don't like the way this smells either. And that's another reason why I was like, this is gonna be a nighttime <laughs> routine using this stuff because I didn't like it. And the smell lingered and I was like, and I said, what kind of fragrance free? Like I said, it's that fragrance free with that scent. So I don't like the way it smells. Couldn't wear it on its own. Now we go move on to the lotion. Okay, this is the, where's this on here? The body lotion, it says it's a multivitamin lotion to moisturize, nourish, and strengthen the skin. This is also um, marketed as fragrance free. Now, this doesn't have the same scent as the serum. Like the serum, I don't like the way it smells. This, this is that, it has a little of that fragrance free. Let me put some on. Yeah, it has a little bit of that fragrance free um, scent. That's what I call it. Because fragrance free to me is I shouldn't smell a thing. And I do smell things with both of these. So that is not fragrance free in my opinion. But yeah, it leaves quickly. This scent does not. So the lotion is nice. Like when I put it here, it's nice. It absorbs into, when I put that dot, it absorbs quickly. But let me tell you, when I use the lotion, how I normally, you know, squirt a good amount of lotion. If you have used those OGX lotions like the coffee one or the the shea butter one that's very popular and they take forever and a day to rub in that's what i was getting with this and that's a pet peeve with me because i have so much stuff that goes on you know some lotions you have to work a little bit but when i have to keep going and going and, and that i cannot stand so that was my experience with this but I will say, because at first I was like, what a rip off. This is what I was thinking after I had used all this stuff. But after I let it sit for a minute, 
I noticed because after I used this the first time I had to do my hair so I was you know doing my hair and I was looking in the you know in the mirror and I said wow my skin is so glowy so I did notice my skin was very glowy with these I think it was these two products together it was very glowy it did it was soft it just took a minute for I guess for them to work it wasn't like immediate like I'm thinking with the serum I didn't get that immediate feeling that this feels so wonderful on my skin I did not get it with this but mixed together with the lotion I noticed my skin was very soft and not not that what you call oily shiny it was just glowy like it looked like healthy vibrant skin so I'm gonna use these up and I'm going to see at the end if I think they're worth me purchasing the full size because there are other serums body serum because I was like is this the only one and then I looked at, I knew it was another one from Moroccan oil but I was like what other ones do they have so I was impressed with that but then we'll have to see because like I keep saying if this is skincare you have to give skincare time but I wanted to do this review like it's not even a first impressions this is like a couple of times using it tell you my thoughts and then after I use it all up we'll see if I see some great results on my body because you know we be paying attention as women we know oh this looks different oh this looks better oh that looks worse you know this is breaking me out this is doing this we i'm gonna pay attention and i'm gonna let you know because i'm not using anything along with these products right now there's another serum from truly that i plan to incorporate while using these at night because you know it's skincare for your body and i want to see how that works but Right now, I'm glad I purchased the kit on sale because I was interested in this brand. I'm not ready to write it off, but I do cannot stand the eucalyptus scent. I will say it again. And I do not like the way the body serum smells at all, even though it's fragrance free. So, I'll have to keep you updated. But I did want to show something else because I alternated between these two at night to see which ones I, you know, I was loving. So this is the Moroccan Oil Body Night Body Serum. Okay, and this, let me see if I can read. I know this is supposed to hydrate, firm, yeah, firm and smooth your skin. So I use this serum and i immediately got and th maybe because this is like an oil serum and this if i can show you this is a lotion like a lotiony serum you know it's not an oil and see when i put it right here on my skin it's like oh it absorbs it feels nice but all over my body it just wasn't doing it and i think it's because the shower gel dried my skin out so badly so i will be using my in shower lotion now that i've used it a few times i just wanted to <laughs> i just wanted to use it by itself to tell you how they performed without any other help but yeah i will be using my in shower uh my wet skin moisturizer from curel because no no now this serum from Moroccan oil, I put it on and I immediately felt that, you know, how you feel when you put a good serum on your face, like it's sinking in, it feels soft, it just feels good while you're putting it on. Now I did get this feeling from this serum and I didn't use my Curel Wet Skin Moisturizer either because I wanted to see how this performed on its own. And I use it in the same way as the Necessary Body Serum. I put this on first, and then I have also this Moroccan Oil Body Souffle. So I used these two together last night because I was like, let me compare them with this. Well, you know, if I'm planning to do this video. This smells really good, okay? If you like the way the Moroccan Oil Hair Treatment Oil smells, which when I was younger, I didn't like that scent, but I like it now. It smells like that. It smells so good. It felt really good. This smelled so good mixed with this. I felt 
like my skin was soft and hydrated. I didn't feel like it was as glowy looking as I did with the Necessaire body serum and body lotion. But just on scent alone, the way it felt, I enjoy, cause to me, okay, some things you have to do and use because it's beneficial for you and you don't necessarily have to enjoy the process. But when I'm doing, you know, my lotion, I want to enjoy the process. I don't want to be like, oh my goodness, well, I'm putting it on. I don't like this scent. I don't like that experience. So I prefer the experience with this over the experience with Necessaires serum and lotion. The results, like I said, the only big difference was I know, but I wasn't in the mirror with this either, trying to check my, the glowiness of my skin. But I did notice my skin was very glowy with the necessary. But I am loving these products. I love them so much. I went and was getting ready to add this to cart. You know, not to get right now. But, you know, to have it ready. It's sold out on Sephora. The Moroccan Oil uh, Body Serum. But, yeah, it felt really good. It smelled really good. It was very relaxing. I enjoyed the experience. And I plan to use this up, too. And, you know, and then we'll do a final which one. I know which one going to win the scent battle. Because, like I said, I don't like the way anything smells in this necessary kit. <laughs> not one thing. And scent is a big thing for me. It might not be for some people. But if you love body care fragrances, usually it's a big deal for you, and it is for me. So Moroccan oil has the edge right now on that alone. All right, y'all, so that's my little review on the Necessaire uh, Body Ritual Kit I bought at Sephora. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me have you tried Necessaire? What are your thoughts on the brand? And tell me about the Moroccan oil, body serum, the souffle. Have you, what have you used there also? Because I'm, I'm kind of getting obsessed with that scent from Moroccan oil because I enjoyed it so much. So tell me your favorite products from there, you know, so I can make my little spring Sephora list. Please share this video with everyone who loves to look, feel, and smell fabulous, darling, like we all do. And please turn on your notification bell so you won't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.